Hello ladies and gents, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials in Photoshop and not only in Photoshop. Today I will grab the best program in the photo editing industry and I will show you how you will be able to create this fantastic photo collage of uh, many photos of the same subject. So I will show you the way of not taking and print many photos and uh, glue them afterwards on a paper. We will, do, uh, we will do the same thing on Photoshop really fast and really artistic. So uh, let's start and let's just build a wonderful photo collage that uh, it will make us really proud of our job. I will use one a piece of paper and of course one uh, photo of uh, a skater over here. I will uh, give you both the photographs uh, underneath uh, in the details of this tutorial. So uh, go down in the details and find those two links in order to work with me. And uh, this is the paper and this is the skater. So uh, skater and paper, really good, <laughs> it makes sense. And uh, the only thing I need to have is to open the, this photograph inside Photoshop and then go to image and select duplicate and right now we will duplicate this photograph and we will build uh, our project upon this new photograph so I will name this skater I will hit OK and then I will go and actually I will delete this one if this photograph is locked you will have to actually create a new layer and then delete the previous one. So now we have an empty box, an empty uh, project and then I will go to my skater project and uh, I will do that. I will select the rectangular marquee tool and then I will go to the style and select the fixed size. That way I will be able to create fixed boxes. You see that? Just like the boxes just like actually the sizes of, uh, of a normal photograph, okay? Let's uh, try this uh, dimensions, 350, 250, width and height. And I will start and taking pieces of my project, of my subject, let's say, and I will go to edit. I will hit the cut command. Of course, I can use the shortcut control X, command X in Macintosh. And you see that right now, my photograph is cutted. Before that, I will just duplicate this one in order to keep the original photo and intact, intact and then I will go to edit and use the cut again and then I will go to the skater and I will go to edit and paste special and paste in place or else shift control V shift command V in Macintosh and right away we have this piece exactly in the same spot as here paste in place wonderful and then I will go I will uh, select the edit I will go to free transform and hit this command or else I can use the shortcut again control and T command T in Macintosh and I will just rotate this you know little piece of uh, paper hit OK and we can just uh, really need to repeat this process over again so I will go and select this piece of this guy over here I will use the shortcuts right now so control X command X in order to cut and then here I will use the paste in place command which is control shift and X command shift X uh, in uh, Macintosh and of course I just did something different so actually I'm doing something wrong probably let's just see this paste in place paste special so it's uh, control shift yes I did the same thing but okay now it works probably I pressed something different and then I will go to control T and rotate this one and of course the trick is to uh, blend to mix those uh, layers you know do not put them away just put them close over to the other and then change the blend to multiply you see that we have a wonderful mix right now and of course if we keep taking you know pieces just like that Control X and then Control Shift and V. We got the new piece. I will put it a little bit over and then I will maybe from here and then I will just change this blend to multiply. And you see this wonderful mix of the previous layers. This will make the whole procedure really artistic. And then I will go to here. I will cut the hand 
and control X, control shift V, control T, rotate and put it here, let's say. You don't have to be precise, you just have to be artistic and of course you have to play with this and don't worry, it will look great in the end, no matter what. I will go and cut the half of this skate, control X, and I will go control shift V again, control T, and then I will rotate this one and I will just change the blend to multiply again. And of course, I will keep this process in order to take all the pretty details of this uh, photograph. And of course, the trick is to have them blended good and then multiply. Wonderful. And of course, I can go and take this skater boy, control X, and of course, control shift V, control T. I will put it here, not in the same order, but in the other side. Doesn't really matter. We can be as artistic as we want. And then I will go and change this to multiply. Wonderful. And of course, I will just rotate this one, something like that. Wonderful. And then I will go and take the, the roof of this uh, skyscraper. We'll go paste this again. I will uh, put it here this time in the other side. You see that we're not uh, you know, restricted to the boundaries of the original photo. We can do whatever we like. I will change this to multi, of course, and we're okay. And then I will go and take this little part of his uh, shirt, t-shirt, let's say, and I will go control V, and of course, control, actually here I will go to this tool and then I will actually have just really created a duplicate right now. So we don't really need the duplicate and we are here. I will uh, change this one, something like that. Doesn't really matter, maybe here. No problem whatsoever. And we will go to multiply. You see that really wonderful effect. And of course we have to keep doing this until we don't have any details to catch. I'll go here, control X, control V, control T, put it there maybe, above here. Wonderful, and then multi, superbly, and we keep adding all those sexy details inside, control shift V, control T, and maybe here, let's say, and multi, and that's the trick, more or less. When we will finish the main scene, we will have to add some extra stuff. So don't go away. Control V without Control Shift V. You see that? I'm not uh, really, you know, I, I don't really have to uh, all the time use the pasting place because right now I'm pasting uh, to many other dimensions, uh, to many other positions, and not the original actually positions of the layers. So now we'll go to multi. Wonderful, maybe over here. Okay, and uh, I think we're done. Maybe I will take just a tiny bit of this uh, cement floor. Control X, Control V, and then I will go and put it maybe here in order to continue uh, having, uh, you know, the floor going on. Yeah, wonderful. So my photograph is ready. We only needed 13 layers. I will take all those layers, I will put them on a group. So I will select all those and I will hit the control G, command G in Macintosh. So we have the group, I will name it Skater. And of course, with a group, I can move all those layers just like they were one, but they are all separated inside this wonderful group. And now I will go and uh, I will create a shadow uh, on those layers in order to make them stand out even more. I will start from this one. I will right click, hit the blending options. And of course here I will use the drop shadow with, uh, with those settings. So I will use actually distance as zero and spread as five and size as five and the opacity, it will be at about 50. So you see that we have a wonderful, but not so strong shadow around my box. Check that before and after, wonderful. And then I will hit OK. And of course, afterwards I will go to this layer. I have to close those in order to see all my layers. Okay. I will go here, I will right click and I will go to copy layer style. I will select all my other layers. 
with uh, shift the front the first and shift click the last and then control click the other and then I will go to right click and I will go to paste layer style and now my photograph really stands out you see that and my uh, last uh, touch it will be the difference of the opacity on each separate layer so I will change the opacity in most of the layers in order to make them uh, you know be more uh, not so strong and actually I will create a really better mix so I will start from here and I will use uh, opacity levels at about 60% until 90%. So I will create a really uh, interesting look. I will use the 70% uh, more. You see that? 70. So my photograph is uh, semi transparent right now. Maybe 80 this one. I will go to the rest 70. The other one, maybe 80. The other one, 70. The other one, let's use 60 this time. And of course, here, let's use 90. And then here, maybe 90, because I need this skater boy to be visible and really strong. This one, 80. This one, 60. Wonderful. And of course, we need to have this one, 90. And of course, the, the parts of the, of the body, we have to keep them as strong as uh, we have to. So maybe 90 here. And this will be uh, actually the first one. It has to be strong as 100%. So this one, it will be at original opacity, 100%. Wonderful. And my photograph is done. The only thing that I have to do right now is some uh, really good edits. So I will go first of all and take this paper over my skater. And then I will go zoom out, control T in order to bring this paper in the dimensions of my scene. Hit OK. And then I will go and put this right below of my skater group. And now my skater really looks great. The opacity and multiply actually blends the whole scene over uh, actually with my paper. And I think I have to uh, change if I don't have it already. This uh, actually the layer one as multiply at uh, but it is already no problem whatsoever. And then I will go and I will duplicate this skater group great and then i will go and right click merge the group and of course i will put it right below the skater and i will just uh, enlarge this uh, this piece i will go to edit free transform enlarge this one with alt and shift pressed in order to have it uh, in really uh, right dimensions enlarge and then i will put it let's say here i need this skater boy to be visible and the cap of this uh, young man over here hit OK and then I will just lower the opacity at about 10 or 5 percent in order to have it just a slightly on the scene you see that only a tiny little piece of this guy over here and of course the skater really looks not so strong but you know it does the trick really good and uh, we're okay uh, last but not least I will have to use an adjustment layer so let's use the color balance in order to make this uh, photograph a little more yellowish or uh, reddish if you like or bluish if you really really like the uh, the cold tones of blue you see that uh, but i really need to make it uh, more uh, uh, you know warm so i will use the warm colors of yellow and red and of course the shadows wonderful and of course then I will just use also a black and white and of course I will change this to overlay in order to create this uh, washed out effect and of course I will just lower the opacity at about 50% and so my photograph now really really looks something extraordinary and really uh, advanced but you see it is a really easy process Afterwards, I will have to merge all those layers together. So I will use a really long but useful shortcut, which is Command, Alt, Shift and E. Control, Alt, Shift and E in uh, PC. We have all those layers merged and uh, over the previous ones. You see that I have only that to work. And then I will go to the filter. I will go to the noise. Actually, sorry, I will go to the sharpen, unsharp mask. And here I will use the amount of 75% of maybe this one. It can go at about three. And of course, the levels threshold should stay 
as low as zero. And you see that really big difference. My photograph now is really dramatic. Hit OK. And then I will go and add uh, a vignette. So we will go and uh, I will select the lens correction. Actually, I will zoom out just a tiny bit. I will use the lens correction and then I will go to the custom and I will reduce the vignette amount at about uh, minus 80 and the midpoint at about plus 25 and we have a wonderful actually vignette in our photograph now my photograph is done and i think i'm really proud of this photograph so my photo used to be uh, i will actually bring this photograph over my uh, new project so my photograph was that really okay photograph okay a really good effect with photoshop with brushes and stuff but now my photo really stand out and really uh, is a wonderful actually mix of uh, cutted pieces so you don't really have to print your photograph uh, on uh, many many pieces of uh, photographs and glue them on the wall you just have to use photoshop in order to create this wonderful and fantastic and really easy but also artistic effect. I'm Evan, I'm your friend in all creative programs. Please like my video if you like this technique and of course don't forget to subscribe in order to watch all my upcoming tutorials. Have fun my friends and keep photoshopping!